A portion of this video is sponsored by Latron Electronics. It's that time of year again where I love creating DIY gifts. I love to personalize things for the people in my life. So our first project we're calling a DIY gift tree. This is a way you can create a tree to personalize to anybody in your life. So you're going to start by putting together a tree. Now this could already be like a miniature tree that you already have, or you could create your own. So to do this on a budget, I'm going to use a Dollar Tree tree and a red base that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I'm going to hot glue a piece to the bottom of my container and then hot glue my tree on top. I'm going to add a little bit of twine to the edges. Next, I'm going to add a silver bow to the top. To fill the bottom portion, I'm going to put some Walmart stacks just so I don't have to put in as many ornaments. Now to finish off the tree, I'll put some silver ornaments on top of that. Now I think this would make a great kid's gift, a great gift for a teen. Go to Dollar Tree or Walmart and pick some of their favorite items. Then just grab some red and green ribbon or whatever colors you want. I'm going to cut off the ribbon and then I'm going to tie all these fun little items to the tree. I got things like hairbrushes, face masks, fun pins, candy, gum. There was Kleenex. Really, I just grabbed a bunch of fun stuff and I thought this would be a great tree that you could give to anyone in your life. It's totally personalized to that one person and then they can keep the tree as well. Thanks to Latron for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have been prepping for the holidays and one thing that I've really been trying to do is get my house in order. So I've been changing out a lot of things just to make things more easy and smart in my home. I've added in the Caseta by Latron premium smart lighting controls. It can make regular bulbs in your house be smart bulbs. Installing your smart switches can be an easy DIY project. This also makes it a great gift for anyone looking for an easy DIY upgrade to their home. It took us around 15 minutes to install them and it was about three steps. They have a great customer service. So you can definitely call them if you're having any trouble at all. Caseta also works with the Alexa in my home. It works with several other devices as well. Not only did I upgrade to smart switches and I also redid my shades. The Serena roller shades that I installed are not like any other shade. They're actually smart shades. You can control control them with your phone or just a little remote on the wall. You can set a timer to have your shades go up or down at any time. If you want to set your shades on a timer so that they lower at sunset, you don't even have to think about it. Just set the shades to lower on the timer and you'll automatically have privacy. The Serena shades come with the Pico smart remote, so you can use it to control one shade or multiple at the same time. These shades are perfect to put in areas that you use a lot, like for me in my breakfast nook or the be great in your bedroom. I really feel like my Caseta smart switches and my Serena smart shades just really finish off my home. I'm so excited for the holidays. If you'd like to learn more about Caseta or Serena on Latron's website, you can use my URL here. I'll also put it down in the description box. Thanks to Latron for sponsoring this portion of the video. For our next gift idea, I picked up a frame. Now I'm going to remove the contents from the back and I'm going to grab a piece of scrapbook paper. This is one I had in my office. Honestly, use anything you have on hand. I'm gonna trace around the scrapbook paper and cut it out so that it'll fit into my frame. I have a Scrabble game that I picked up at a thrift store and I'm going to be pulling out the pieces in there that spell out the words to do. Now, if you don't have a Scrabble board, you could definitely get little wood pieces and write on there as well. I'm gonna take my Scrabble pieces and hot glue those to my picture frame. I grabbed a dry erase marker. I'm gonna be using the black dry erase markers. So I'm gonna take my twine and tie it to the top portion of the pin so that when you take the pin off, it's still connected. And then on the other side of the string, I'm just gonna hot glue that to the back of my picture frame. Now you guys probably guessed it, I created a message board that you could give to anybody to write little notes or to-dos for the day. Yeah. 
I love giving fresh, live plants and flowers as gifts. I just think they make really great gifts for anyone in your life. And succulents are really popular right now. So I wanted to actually give a real succulent this year. So I picked one up at the store. You could get these at like Walmart or Lowe's right now. Next, I grabbed a glass container from Dollar Tree. Now I wanted to paint this to make it look just a little bit more textured. I grabbed the color mineral in the Waverly line of paints and I'm gonna mix that with some baking soda. I haven't done that in a while, so I was bringing back the baking soda. When you mix baking soda with any of your paints, it's just gonna give it like a nice textured look. I'm gonna use a foam brush to brush that onto my piece. Now I ended up doing about two and a half coats on the whole entire container. Next, I'll just plant that plant into my container. Now, if you wanted to finish it off, you could always add a bow to the front. And I think this makes an adorable gift for anyone. If you guys love DIYing and decorating, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post two videos on Monday and Thursday each week. I love any kind of food gift, and I think this would make a great gift for your kids to give people in their classrooms, or you could also give it out as like a little gift. Maybe you don't like to bake. This is a great option as well. So I went on Amazon and I bought a big container of m and so I could make several of these. You're also going to need some clear ornaments. Now, if you get them in a fun shape, I think it's even more interesting. I have this pack that I picked up off of Amazon, but you could also get them at Dollar Tree, Walmart, you can really get these anywhere. So start by cleaning out your containers. You wanna make sure that they're washed up really nicely. Next, I'm gonna fill each of the ornaments with M&Ms. I'll put the cap back on. And then I'm gonna add some ribbon to the top just to kind of make it look a little bit more festive. Now with DIY gifts, you definitely want to personalize these. So I wanted to either add a tag or add a letter. You could really personalize these any way that you wanted. You could add these to your tree. You could add them to your stocking. So many possibilities with this. And if you don't like M&Ms, change it out for your favorite candies. I would say one of the best DIY gifts that I ever got was a recipe book that I got from my mother-in-law right after I got married. She put together a recipe book and she filled it with recipes from her, both of the grandparents, my mother, and honestly today it's still the recipe book that I use. So I think it's such a great gift to pass down to anyone. So we're going to be making a version of that for this next project. I found this box at the thrift store. It was around $4. It looked like it was kind of like a photo shadow box, but I picked it up and I thought it would make a perfect little recipe box container. I'm gonna paint it with two coats of Moss by Waverly. This used to be one of my favorite colors and haven't used it in a while. Once I put that color on there, I was like, I need to use this color more because it just looks so pretty. Depending on who you're giving this to, think about the colors they have in their kitchen. Maybe you could really personalize it to whoever you're giving it to. So I wanted to make this simple. So I just went into Word, typed out the word recipes and sized it down so it would fit in the window of that top portion. And I just printed it out on my regular inkjet printer. I'm gonna cut that out and add it to the top frame portion.
Now when I was painting, I made sure that I didn't paint on the sides because that recipe box had to like slide in and out and I didn't want to mess with that at all. So I made sure my paint didn't go on the side. So I put it back in place. I would suggest adding in some of your favorite recipes to this or give them some blank recipe cards where they could start their recipe collection. This was a gift that I loved getting and I think would make a great personalized gift. I have a podcast, DIY Disasters with Liz Fenwick. Make sure you guys check it out. I would love to know down in the comments what your favorite personalized gifts are that you love to create for the holidays are. Let's share some ideas with each other. I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.